The White House uh, indicated that it's about to crack down on recreational weed. Again, we warned you when you have uh, Trump picking Attorney General Jeff Sessions, he's on the record as being one of the strongest voices against marijuana. What do you think is going to happen? So Sean Spicer, who of course is the uh, press spokesperson for the White House, said the following. I do believe you'll see greater enforcement of it, talking about marijuana laws. Because again, there's a big difference between the medical use that's very different than the recreational use, which is something the Department of Justice will be further looking into. Uh, okay. I'm scared of the day that Jeff Sessions learns, because he might not even know, to be honest. Because these Republicans secretly don't know anything. Um, but when he learns that he even has the legal authority to crack down on medical marijuana... I'm scared of that day, man. I'm scared of the day he does it for recreational marijuana. And they're saying right now with recreational, that's probably what's going to happen. So the way l law works in the U.S. is you have the supremacy clause of the Constitution. So what that means is federal law overrides state law. So on the federal level, marijuana is still illegal. Full stop. It's still a Schedule One drug, which is crazy because they say there's no positive use no potential positive use we ain't even gonna research it i mean think about how backwards that is we i mean we just know that's factually wrong but it was kept like that recently by the dea because the dea's jobs many of their jobs depend on marijuana being illegal so you're asking on people, hey, you want to admit the truth and lose your job? <laughs> or you want to just keep lying? And they were like, fuck it, we're going to keep lying. So that's what happened recently. They said, nope, still it's Schedule 1. Well, we know that's not true. But Schedule 1 means can't have it for recreational reasons, can't have it for medical reasons. Now, people have been lulled into a false sense of security by looking at what's happening in Colorado, looking at what's happening in Washington. I think Alaska also legalized recreational marijuana. A few other states legalized. Now California just did it. Uh, and, But here's the problem with that. The federal government could just go in there and shut it down in a day if they want to. They just keep doing raids, and you have no legal recourse whatsoever. Let me repeat that. You have no legal recourse. You could be in compliance with every single state law on marijuana and go purchase marijuana, and they could still shut down that dispensary and still lock you up for having weed. So there's this discrepancy in the laws. There's this contradiction in the laws. And all we were depending on was the good graces of the executive branch and the administration in power to not crack down on you. And by the way, Obama early on did crack down on legal marijuana. So we got to change the laws. That's what it comes down to. But now we have a majority Republicans in the House of Representatives, a majority Republicans in the Senate, and a major and of course, not a majority, but you have the presidency. <laughs> You have Donald Trump being president of the United States. So every level of government is dominated by Republicans. They're not going to spend a single goddamn second considering legalizing recreational marijuana. Even are the Democrats. The Demo oh, the good old Democrats. Even they were like, hmm. See, what they do, the Democrats do, is they just don't actively move us in the wrong direction. They'll keep us coasting as is, which ain't nearly good enough. But the Republicans get in and they'll say, fuck it, full pedal to the metal in the wrong direction. And now you have Jeff Sessions as attorney general. The top lawyer in the country is a guy who is on the record avowed being an enemy of marijuana. This is a guy, he said, good people don't smoke marijuana. Huh? <laughs> what kind of a crazy ass comment is that? Good people don't smoke marijuana. Do good people uh, have beer? Do good people have caffeine? Do good people go to the doctor for their anxiety problems and have a Xanax every now and then? Do good people use a, take a Vicodin or a Percocet after they get into a car accident and their femur snaps? No, but this is a, this is a guy with old school 1920s reefer madness garbage thinking. He's bought it hook, line, and sinker, man. He's drunk on the anti-marijuana propaganda Kool-Aid. And there's no budge in that mind. 
That mind ain't moving an inch or a centimeter or a millimeter in the right direction. That mind is proudly ignorant and unintelligent. And he's gonna fight for those positions time and time again. So look out. Because these guys have power now. And, you know, the only silver lining is if and when they start cracking down on it, we can hope it's not going to be as bad as it very well might be, so maybe that's a silver lining. Limit the damage as much, much as possible. But furthermore, no matter what they do, even if it's just a little bit in the wrong direction, woo, they're setting up a gigantic loss in the upcoming elections now, aren't they? Because the thing is, the, when Republicans win, Republicans get the misimpression, oh, it's because they agree with our ideology. They don't give a fuck about your ideology. Look at the polls issue for issue. The American people are overwhelmingly liberal and open-minded. 58% of the American people want to legalize recreational marijuana. You know, Jeff Sessions, if he had his way, he'd probably crack down on medical marijuana too. 58% legalized recreational all around the country. And they're going to come in there and go in the opposite direction and expect to be okay? <laughs> Proceed at your own risk, motherfuckers. Now... Hopefully, we've already come to the tipping point where, you know, maybe Jeff Sessions goes to Trump and says, look, man, I'm going to crack down here. And Trump, I don't think he's smart enough to piece any of this together, but maybe Ivanka Trump and fucking Jared Kushner, who have been persuading Trump on some issues, maybe they say, look, you ain't cracking down on shit when it comes to weed, because if you want to win re-election, you don't touch that. You don't touch it. So maybe there's an outside chance that happens, but we do have ideological madmen in power right now who are anti-weed. And remember, Jeff Sessions also said on top of good people don't smoke marijuana, he was joking around one time and said, you know, I used to like the KKK. What? <laughs> I used to like the KKK until I found out some of them smoke weed. Where do I begin with the levels of fucked up and stupid in that comment? Now, I get it, it's a joke, so I'm not hitting you with the PC outrage. Oh, how dare you? No, I'm just saying that's a stupid thing to say. <laughs> it's dumb. And do I take it as a kernel of truth as to where his feelings lie on the issues? Yeah. This is a guy who also called a, a white civil rights attorney a traitor to his race. So let's just say Jeff Sessions is off on many issues, and now he's in control as Attorney General. So look out, because they could be coming for your weed, and that would be a disaster.